When does she do? Bank six, Diane. Mm -hmm. Give me the principal's names again. Jules. Mm-hmm. Vincent. Jim. Bonnie. Mm-hmm. It's 30 minutes away. I'll be there in 10. Jimmy, right? This is your house? Sure is. I'm Winston Wolf. I solve problems. Good, we got one. So I heard. May I come in? Uh, yeah, please do. You must be Jules. We should make you Vincent. Let's get down to brass tacks, gentlemen. If I was informed correctly, the clock is ticking. Is that right, Jimmy? Uh, 100%. Your wife, Bonnie, comes home at 9.30 in the AM. Is that correct? Uh-huh. I was led to believe if she comes home and finds us here, she wouldn't appreciate none too much. It won't at that. All right, that gives us 40 minutes to get the fuck out of Dodge. Which, if you do what I say, when I say it, should be plenty. Now, you got a corpse in a car, minus a head in a garage. Take me to it. Jimmy? Uh-huh? Do me a favor, will you? Don't let's melt some coffee back there. Would you make me a cup? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, um, how do you uh, take it? Lots of cream, lots of sugar. About the car, is there anything I need to know? Does it stall? Does it smoke? Does it make a lot of noise? Is there gas in it? Anything? Aside from how it looks, the car is cool. Positive. Don't get me out there on the road. I find out the brake lights don't work. Hey, man, as far as I know, the motherfucker's tip top. Good enough. Let's go back to the kitchen. Here you go, Mr. Wolf. Thank you, Jimmy. Hmm. Okay, first thing, you two. Take the body, stick it in the trunk. Now, Jimmy, this looks to be a pretty domesticated house. That would lead me to believe that in the garage you're under the sink, you got a bunch of cleaners and cleansers and shit like that? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Wolf, under the sink. Good. I need you two folks to do is take those cleaning products and clean the inside of the car. I'm talking fast, fast, fast. You need to go in the back seat, scoop up all those little pieces of brain and skull. Get it out of there. Wipe down the upholstery. Now, when it comes to upholstery, you don't need to be spick and span. You don't need to eat off it. Just give it a good once over. What you need to take care of are the really messy parts. The pools of blood that I've collected, you gotta soak that shit up. Now, Jimmy, we need to raid your linen closet. I need blankets, I need comforters, I need quilts, I need bedspreads. The thicker the better, the darker the better. No whites. Can't use them. We need to camouflage the interior of the car. We're going to line the front seat and the back seat and the floorboards with quilts and blankets. So if a cop stops us and starts sticking his big snout in the car, the subterfuge won't last. But at a glance, the car will appear to be normal. Jimmy, lead the way. Boys, get to work. A please would be nice. Come again? I said a please would be nice. Get it straight, Buster. I'm not here to say please. I'm here to tell you what to do. And if self-preservation is an instinct you possess, you better fucking do it and do it quick. I'm here to help. If my help's not appreciated, lots of luck, gentlemen. No, 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 Mr. Wolf. It ain't like that. Your help is definitely appreciated. Mr. Wolf, listen. I don't mean disrespect, OK? I respect you. I just don't like people barking orders at me. That's all. If I'm curt with you, it's because time is a factor. I think fast, I talk fast, and I need you guys to act fast if you want to get out of this. So pretty please, with sugar on top. Clean the fucking car. Don't be looking at me like that, all right? I can feel your look. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down there. Thank you so much.